Hi, and welcome back. It's been a while since my last video, but uh, time's just flown by. I've been kind of busy with work and getting the house um, in order for winter. Currently, it's 25 degrees, and we had light dusting of snow last night. But today I wanted to talk about a two band radio that I bought. It's a two meter, 70 centimeter ham radio and it's the Anytone AT778UV2. And I bought this probably about two or three weeks ago and I thought I would try it out for a while uh, to give you my thoughts on it and the features I like. And I thought I'd share that with you. So let's dig in. I mounted it on my desk here with my other radios and as you can see in the background currently it's around 26 degrees and here we have it mounted I took the mobile bracket there I drilled a couple holes into the table here and mounted it on there it's in there nice and firm um, the microphone has a different hook on it than the traditional microphone which I kind of like that I'm using it for my um, base station here so I just put a screw in here and hung it on there and let's go ahead and power it up and the first thing I really liked about this that drew it to me is the the really nice screen it has. It's easy to read from a distance. Um, I love the colors on it and um, it comes in really nice crisp and clear. As you can see on it, it has six programmable buttons. And if you push the function button, you can get another additional six. So you have a total of 12 um, programmable slots you can put in there. Now you have one control knob here, which will function with all the programmable buttons. When I first turn it on, by default, it will control the volume. Now I have my one button here. Let me push the function. And if I push this, my programmable channels in here will scan. And then if I want to stop, I push the function button. Now it has a built-in speaker underneath, and there's also a speaker in the microphone. How I have it set up is I have it only on uh, the unit speaker and the quality, the quality of it is really good. It sounds really nice. To program it, you need the programming cable that plugs into your PC. And what you do is you disconnect the microphone and you plug, it's uh, like a cat cable you plug it into the unit and then you plug the other end into your PC and this will work with chirp and it also comes with any tones own software all right I plugged in the programmable cable one end into the radio and another end into a wire that goes to the PC and here we have Chirp launched. And as you can see, I have 14 frequencies programmed into it. I've skipped four of them. And the reason for that is if I ever put this radio into my car, those are frequencies that I would have between here and where I work that I don't quite receive here. So let's take this window and we're going to drag it over to my other monitor all right now that we have the chirp dragged over to my other screen and we have the software provided from any tome loaded up let's go ahead and download from the radio but before you do that 
we need to make sure we have it on the correct com port and I believe it was five otherwise it's not going to read so let's go ahead do that and let's download it from the radio and here we are with my 14 frequencies downloaded just like we had in chirp now one of the quirks of the software I notice is on channel one and two um, for some reason it doesn't pull the name I had um, named the channel and I'm not quite sure why it does that so every time I download from the radio I have to re-enter the channel names so to edit the channel so let's do this real quick you just type in click on the frequency and then you can go ahead and um, do your settings. And I actually call this one, which is the two meter call, national caller frequency. So we can just put in, I call it, well, I didn't want to mean to hit the three. So I just call it two meter call. And once you do that, you just click okay. And if we wanted to do it on the 70 centimeter, we would just go ahead, click on it. And I believe I call this, I just call it 70 centimeter. Oops. Delete it first. And you only have, what is it, one, two, three, four, five, six slots to uh, name your channel. I actually like the AnyTone software better because um, it makes a little more sense to me why you, how you enter the data in this. When you program, before you program any of the channels, you want to go over here on the menu to model and you get the model information and you can see there's there's actually three bands and I think by default it goes to the band one and if you look at that it doesn't have the full range of frequencies it tops out at 440 and a couple of my uh, repeaters are at 442 and 443 so I wasn't able to program them Till I figured that out. And that's why you go to band two and that increases your frequency range. All right, then you can see my frequencies of the repeaters around me, national calling frequency for two meters and 70 centimeters. And then uh, one I'm gonna share, I'm actually gonna demonstrate how my radio, how great it sounds is if you notice on 14, and we click on it, this is the International Space Station. And the only thing I had to do differently on this than I do with the repeaters is I you need the transmit power high and you want to make sure you're on wideband or the channel spacing here, which is 25 uh, kilohertz. And like I said before, I actually prefer this over the chirp. And the reason being, like I said before, it just kind of when you go and edit a channel, it, it just, I like the layout better, the drop menus, it just, it, it kind of makes more sense to me. Um, one more feature here, if you use your radio as a scanner, you want to make sure, um, if you want it to scan, you click add scan. Um, if you want to block the talking so you can't transmit, you would check the box there. And that would be for if you're monitoring like a police or an emergency channel, you don't accidentally want to transmit on it. So uh, you would turn off the transmitting. So there you have it, kind of a quick review of the radio, the AnyTone radio, and the software you can use with it. And I'd like to finish this video with um, 
the International Space Station, I was able to hit the repeater on there and make some contacts with other uh, radio users in adjoining states. And in a couple of cases, I was able to reach uh, some states, uh, two states over, which is pretty cool for two meter because, uh, you know, normally that's only local communication. So um, let's take a look at my contacts with the International Space Station. Oh, from Lake Tahoe, Nevada. Lake Tahoe, Nevada. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, please subscribe if um, you like. I'm trying to hit a thousand viewers. I still have around 350 to go, but I'm hoping to hit a thousand with, within the next month or two. So uh, please subscribe and thanks for watching.